Today, these two teams play for bragging rights on who will be the 2020 Georgia State 5A high school football champion. We had some heavy hitters in the game, in this game today. The Florida Commit Carlos Del Rio Wilson and Cartersville Hurricanes took on Warner Robins, the Warner Robins Demons. Did the game live up to the hype that many had surrounding it? Let's get into it right after the jump. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, be follow us on social media. Guys, don't forget, before you do anything else, subscribe to the channel. You heard me. Subscribe to the channel. So one more time, subscribe to the channel. Like these videos, comment on these videos, and guys, guess what? You can also follow us on social media, as I stated before. But yes, guys, we're going to talk about this, this here 5A Georgia High School Football Championship game that took place between Carterville, Carterville Hurricanes and the Warner Robert Demons. When I tell you there were some stars out there on the field today, it was good to see Carlos Del Rio, the Florida commit, being able to get out there on the field and fulfill his senior year of high school playing football before it all comes to an end and he head off to college. Um, it was a rough start for him because as many of you remember, I spoke about it in the previous video, he ended up having to transfer to Carterville High School. <clears throat> but I'm glad he was able to get out there and participate in his senior year of high school and just leave it all out there on the field of play, let him know, hey, look, I, I made my name out here on, on, the, on these fields, let you guys know, hey, look, there's greater things to come. Um, the 5A championship started out as, you know, a tug of war. Cartersville jumped out first with a 95-yard kick return. Warner Robert Demons came out on a 14-play drive. Yes, 14-play touchdown drive in which you could tell those ball players were starting to become a little winded out there on the field because the Warner Robert Demons, their offense was methodical in, in the way that they were approaching the game. They figured one thing for certain. If they were able to wear down that defense, in which I'm trying, which I'm telling you they did, if they were able to wear down that defense, that means the Warner Robins Hurricanes, excuse me, the Carterville Hurricanes had to put the ball in Carlos Del Rio hands, in which he's going to have to throw that ball a lot in order for them to keep themselves in the game. Well, it, it did. It kind of worked out because he came back on the next drive after Warner Robins had scored their seven points off the 14, 14 play drive. He took the ball down the field, scored again, and after that. The um, Demons were able to make adjustments on defense. And when I tell you that that interior defensive line and them linebackers were filling gaps, stuff, and holes, and I mean, the, the, the Carterville Hurricanes, they couldn't get the running game going for nothing. I mean, every which way they tried to run, they were sitting on plays. It was almost as if they knew the coach's playbook play by play or they knew they knew the script of what coach was going to run because they just couldn't they just could not get off at all and to make matters worse Carlos Del Rio threw two early interceptions and ended up tweaking his ankle which they pulled him out the game for a couple of plays he came back in right before halftime and tried to get things going with the team and like I said when they came back out in the third quarter the Demons kicked it in the overdrive let them know hey look guys we, we're here to play Carlos Del Rio, you're going to have to pull out some, some secret punch to come get you guys back in this game today because it just wasn't going to happen. Um, the Demons played more zone, and they took away a lot of the things that Carlos Del Rio had been doing throughout the season. I mean, you had you had linebackers falling back in the coverage, just stopping, stopping throws on receivers that, you know, stopping throws to his favorite receivers, making sure that, you know, they took away the opportunity for the Hurricanes to have uh, took away the opportunity for the Hurricanes to score points on the board. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, the Hurricanes got behind, they got behind the game, and they, they just couldn't find any rhythm at all. The Hurricanes defense couldn't stop anybody. I mean, the Demons that wore that offense out in the first half, You when you sit, when you sat there and watched the game, you saw that a lot of defensive plays, the, excuse me, a lot of defensive players, they had their hands on their knees. They had their hands on their hips. They was bending over gas for air, trying to figure out what was going on. Let's give Carlos Del Rio his credit because, like I said, he was able to fulfill his dream. And he was able to fulfill playing his senior high school in which he threw the ball 25 times, completing 14 for 217 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. But, like I said, the Hurricanes couldn't get that running game going. And the Hurricanes, like I said, when they fell behind, this young man, Jalen Addy, for the Demons, he threw the ball 18 times, completed 16 for 259 yards and three touchdowns. But that running, the running, the running back for the Demons, number two, 
Jalen Rutherford. <laughs> man, this kid's a load to get a hold of. Man, that young man ran the ball for 143 yards tonight. And the only thing that what takes me back about this Demons team is the fact that they had been close. They, they, they had sniffed winning the championship, and they had lost a couple of times the past couple of years. And for them to be able to get over that hump this year shows that they had the mental wherewithal to get out there and put it all together and make it happen. The defensive uh, coordinator, who is now the head coach of the team, he made sure to have those guys, have his guys mentally and physically prepared to get out here and go to war. And they also set a record today. They put up 62 points on Carterville. Man, I mean, the score was 62 to 23 or 62 to 21. It, it, it just, just unheard of. I mean, all I can say is, hey, I tip my hat to the Warner, Warner Robins uh, Demons and say congratulations on completing the task, completing the drill, as I like to say, on winning the Georgia State 5A State Championship. Football, excuse me, Georgia State 5A High School, high school Football Championship. Congratulations to you. Until next time, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Also, you follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and lead.